So you get to uh, stand way up in the top of the stage. I don't. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Today I'm going to tell the parable of the prodigal son mentioned and said by Jesus in the Gospel of Luke. This parable tells the father's festive and loving welcome to the returning son who had squandered and the, his inheritance in a faraway country. It begins simply. A man, had, a man had two sons. The younger son requested his father, could you give me my share of the estate early? So the father divided up his inheritance um, between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had and set out for a distant country. There he lavished all his wealth in a loose and empty life. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that country. Uh, the younger son begins to experience dark days of exile and hunger. Um, he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to feed uh, to the f to his fields to feed the pigs uh, when he came the son yearned to fill his grumbling stomach with the pots that the pigs were eating but no one gave him anything when he came to a census he said how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare and here I am starving to death I'll set off uh, and go back to my father's house he gains the courage to return and speak to his f father. He starts to travel. Uh, while he was still far from, far from home, he imagines the words that he's going to say. Father, I've sinned against God and against you. I am no longer deserved to be called your son. Treat me like one of your servants. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion for him. He ran up to his son threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a, uh, put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. <laughs> bring, the bring, the fat bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For the son of mine was dead and is, al and is alive again. He was lost and now is found. <clears throat> so they began to rejoice. Dear brothers and sisters, we are the prodigal son mentioned in this parable. And the Father is our Heavenly Father. And in one way or another, we are all lost to the Father in some part of our life. Um, wait. The main message of this parable is, it doesn't matter how far we stray from our Father or how much we squander the gifts that He provides. He is always delighted when we return back to him. His unconditional love is waiting for us to return home, where he greets us with open arms. Every lost child that is found is the cause of great celebration in heaven. Thank you. Amen. Amen. You can just put it there.